Alright guys, we are back on the Minecraft server and we're back at the hole. You'll see that I might have actually worked on some stuff. In fact, I've used another four stacks of TNT to get all the way to bedrock. So that's just the layer right before we see bedrock. And if we go down there, well, first of all, you'll notice we did some destruction with the landscaping, so we're probably going to have to fix that eventually. We'll take care of that later, though. But if we go down there, there we go. We have this all squared off. If we look right up, obviously we've got some stuff we need to fix there, but we have everything set up to start our game. Now, I will say this. This is not what it's going to look like. Um, I'm actually going to do some patterning here in just a second. I want to hear what you guys have to say about it, but I think I'm probably just going to pick one. But I'll do a wall here, wall there, wall there, and a wall there. I'll do one design on each, figure out which one I like the most, and that's probably the one I'll go with as far as going all the way up because I want to try to get this project done. In fact, if I get the design of this game done this round, then all I have left to do is actually put in the drop. So we are doing, just for those that need a little bit of a recap, we used that TNT cannon there and just literally destroyed this place. And we we're going to be doing a little bit of a parkour where you parkour from up there all the way down here and it's going to be a race. First one down to the bottom wins. I think though, since I'm breaking this up into several episodes, that the parkour is not going to go to the top right there, but is in fact going to go up much, much higher than that. So we'll see. Um, I'm just kind of, I, I want to kind of gauge how this looks, um, try to guesstimate that process, but I do need to put in some walls here, so let me go ahead and get that going, and I will be right back. See ya. All right, guys, so here's the designs I got. Sorry, it's dark out. It keeps changing and changing. So I went simple initially, and then I got very detailed, and then I got very specific. So this is one I really like. This is number two. And I'll be honest, this is number two because I actually loved this one. And then spur of the moment, got an idea. Well, hello. I don't want to ruin the design. Surprise, you ruiner. All right, so this is the initial design. This is my second favorite, just to be clear. Then there's the basic design. Oh, you're already seeing it. This is the basic design that I thought I'd try out just because it would it, it's simple and I really love the color of this green but I've already done it with the underwater city I'm going to do is use it a lot I'm not going to do this but then as you saw the bone blocks behind me but how amazing is this yes I must do it because if you think about the dropping and then you think about all the old school arcade games of all the games that do this this is the best one. I'm not going to put a shooter um, shooting up here, but I am going to put all the enemies as you drop down. And I really love how blue this this blue pops. I'll show you maybe whenever I get it completed. Um, but I really love how this blue pops. I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up to the top for this one. Um, but before I finish this downstairs, the one thing that needs to happen, um, besides getting a ton of bone meal, which by the way, this is gonna be a ton of bone meal, is that I need to go ahead and put a way to get up because all I've been doing up to this point is this. Hey, look, now I found a spot. And then, hey, I found another spot. And that looks like a good spot and I might have died. I might have fallen to my death at least once already. Nobody's counting. And then we got another one, and I'm already close to low health. And so this is how I've gone up already. But what I do want to have is, is along this line here is I'm going to put uh, minecart elevator over here. So I do want to get this installed in a little bit. It's also going to require I just go get a whole bunch of bone blocks right now. So let me go ahead and get all my bone blocks, or at least most of them, um, as well as a couple of different colors. I think I'm going to try... Let's see, we can do blue already stands out really well, so we'll do a layer of blue, and then I think we'll do a layer of green, and then a layer of red, maybe orange or purple, I think that'll be good. And we're only going to go up to the top here, I'm actually going to design up into the sky, so just to be clear with that. So let me go ahead and get some more bone meal, and some more colored wool, 
uh, because that'll take a little bit of time and then I need to get that elevator in. So it's going to take a little bit of time guys, but it'll be just a split second for you. All right, so I did not work on the elevator like I said I was. Um, well, I, I started to and then I got sidetracked because we've got this guy and now we've got this guy and now we've got this guy and this guy. These are going to be the four designs I use all the way up. I went with the blue on this level. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to go up another level. I guess I'm going to go through. There's three blocks here. I guess I'll go three more blocks up there. And then I'm going to actually, so I'm going to go, I think I've got green next. It's like a lime green, or if I don't go lime green, maybe red or orange. Just kind of breaking up different colors. And then I'm going to take this design. I'm going to rotate this one over here, this one over here. So they're all going to be a little offset as they go up. And it's just, I think it's really going to work for this process. I also really like how the bone meal almost gives this old TV style to the Space Invader icons. So I really, I really, really love this design, guys. So I'm going to keep going. Let me show you over here. This is where we've got, we can actually just go ahead and go up. Um, this is where the elevator is going to be, which would be best. Let's just do this. So we'll go up this way, but this is where the elevator is going to be for those that want to move up or down. I am going to put water down there. I just don't have the water on me yet, uh, but we'll go we'll get some water and we'll take care of that. So there was actually a little cave here. We'll keep going on up and I'll show you where this entrance is going to eventually be. I think I'm probably going to put a two door house up here just for people that wants to use it. Um, it's also going to be where there's a bed. Uh, I'll design the house off camera. It's not going to be anything special. I'll probably just um, use someone else's design. But this is where it's at. So I'll level this out a little bit. I still need to make a path back there for um, interacting with the rest of the map. But yes, this is what it looks like. I love this thing. That's how high it's going to be. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit that out. Um, it might be something where we just have to do something special in the end. It looks like if I measure it right, it's one, two, three, and then four. If I have to go a little high, I'm okay with that. I'll terraform a little bit if it means making four characters on there. So we'll see how it goes. I'm really excited about this. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments as far as the icons, the Space Invader idea, doing the different colors. I'm going to get to work continuing this up. Um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and put the rest of, I'm probably going to make this a two-parter. We won't do the whole thing this way, um, but I'll get this going and then um, probably get this as well. I'm not 100% sure. Let me see what I have the creative spirit for. All right, guys, so I am back here and I've done a little bit of work, as you can see. Still got our scaffolding up there. I'll be tearing that down in a little bit. But I've done all of the outer edges. You'll notice something over there. I've concealed all the blast areas. Um, probably won't be filling that in. I know mobs spawn, but this is so far out there that you don't, you can't really experience the um, mobs spawning out here. They'll just disappear. But we have this. And I absolutely love this design. It, it could fit one more, but I figure let's just go ahead and do this. I might actually write the name of the thing in the, the lettering here. I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave it like this and kind of like it's almost a buried thing that you have to get down to start seeing that piece of it. And then I put in the elevator and it's just a typical minecart elevator. So we'll go down and this is pretty simple to do. Got the white walls just like everything else. And then I started putting in a floor down here, and I think I'm gonna go, I had that design over here of the, the wood and the birch. I'm going to do that. And initially I was thinking, let's just do some inset, inset lighting. Um, I realized that there is still bedrock down here on some of these spots. And so that's going to cause a problem, see? So if I wanted to do set and lighting here and put some glass on with glowstone underneath, I couldn't do it there. So that might affect the design. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do raised lighting down here. So probably some kind of like uh, wall or uh, street lamp kind of lighting down here. I think I'll just make it something simple. Um, 
I don't know if I'll use glowstone or if I'll use redstone lamps. I do still have to finish these sides. The one thing I will say with this, I put this three pixels high or three blocks high here, um, but this one is much shorter than this one. This one's actually, I think, one pixel higher than that one and, and much higher than this one. So this is gonna cause a little bit of issues. So what I'm gonna do is these are just not gonna be all the same height. It's gonna end at the same height up there but there's gonna be a three space in between each of these. And so they'll be a little offset, but I think with the floor and then with all the ice, nobody's gonna notice. Um, the only reason you're gonna notice is because I told you. So I'll put the rest of these in off camera. Um, again, this guy will be orange over here. This guy will be orange over here. And then this guy will be red over here and then purple all the way up there. So there's only gonna be four designs. Um, but they're each going to be different colors and it's going to just be a nice little flow to this so i'm going to do the rest of this off camera um, and i will catch up in just a sec again the floors will be probably put in by that point with the lamps i'll give you one final tour with this whole thing i'm really kind of excited to how to see it go how to see how it goes um i still have to build a house out there i still have to put the ice all up in here as well and tear down that scaffolding so i might just do the rest of these little pieces um, in between or after this video is over with obviously the ice blocks I will do in the next episode so give me one second guys all right guys so quick update before we finish we still got all this to do but look at this I love how this looks we've got two now you can see it side by side I, I actually like the fact that it just keeps going up so we got this guy is matched with this guy, and this guy matched with this guy, and this guy matched with this guy, and eventually it'll cross over. And when you get to the top, you go back down to the bottom. I love this. It's really cool. And then as you see on the floor, we got some floor stuff. I haven't put in the lamp posts yet for this. I tried to do some birch fences. Did not look good. So it's going to have to be something else. I'm going to go get some iron gates, see how that looks. Um, I'm going to go get some uh, dark oak fences, see how that looks, just for some contrast. I really do want to kind of keep with this theme, though. I will say this, um, it doesn't actually light everything, which is okay. I also thought about maybe putting these down one, and so nothing would spawn. So let's just give a quick, what would be a quick look? So if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop out all these here, at least the um, this side of it. Uh, but basically it would make it spawn proof and it'd give a little bit of texture to this and so obviously a little bit of texture would be great as well i could put in stairs i think i might end up doing that but let's just at least first glance look see how this looks just with the floor slabs down on the ground i did go one layer lower to down to the bedrock and there's a ton of bedrock here this is where it starts so I'm glad I did not put this into the floor because the lighting into the floor because it just would not have worked. All right, grab this. There we go. There we go. So let's see. I really like that. It's a little bit of a hard transition, so I'm going to try to put some stairs in. I have some here, just a few. Let's try this once more. Put all the stairs in just to kind of give it a little beveled edge to the flooring just to see what it looks like there we go okay yeah guys we have to do this all right so i'm going to make this change down here i'm going to put some uh, posts onto these lights so now everything down here will be spawn proof and then i've got to finish the two pieces here and take the scaffolding down and we will be on our way to finishing this episode. <laughs> of course it's raining. And then we will put this the parkour design all the way up there along with a house next episode. So give me one second. All right, guys. So we have the design finished. Everything is done. And it looks awesome. I absolutely love how this looks. Now, I still haven't put the the fences in here and I wanted to just try this out let's see I had I have iron gates but I have reservations about this let's look at this real quick so if I put, I put this here it just is too thin whereas if I put these fences here 
look how great that is and it separates itself from this it's going to separate itself from the wall but it's not going to be so obscene i guess it's not it's not going to take away from the rest of the design i think i really like this now the concern that i also have is if you stand in here in the middle which i'm hoping this is like where the winter spot is i even might make this into like a different design as far as the wood maybe put wool here or something if i do that these guys are just in the way of everything so my alternative to this i'm thinking i'm not 100 percent sure on this is to take these out from here and i still don't want this to spawn so instead i'm thinking maybe here putting these in as just floor lights actually i really love that so i'm going to keep these guys well do i want to keep these guys or do i want to just make it floor i almost feel like it's a better option just to make it a floor design yeah forget the fences i'm just going to put all these in the floors and we'll just have them here here so basically wherever these are We'll just do a floor design. I actually really like that. And then the only thing that's the centerpiece is going up and then all the ice pieces, I will put something here. I might even just put it as a single dot or maybe like a, I don't want to do a bullseye. I don't want to do something cheesy, but I want it to be like, this is where you have to land. So maybe the last ice piece is going to be right here. I like that. So the wall is up. I do have to take that down. Let's go up there real quick. And then I'll discuss my parkour map. So what I'm thinking is, um, I'm not sure how this is going to happen, but I, initially I was thinking doing another portal in here. So this will be one big house that's right here. We'll clear out some of these trees. It'll be one big house where you can get up here, but then right beside it is going to be another, uh, another portal. And then when you come out into the nether, then you jump back into it or into a different one, a little bit different place. And you'll be way up there on a platform. And with that platform up there, that's where we will start to do with the drop. So you have the um, ladder game over here, which I don't think we've seen on Church Mag, but it's a ladder game where you're given bow and arrows and you try to get to the top, king of the ladder style. Um, oh, I need a axe. So that that's one option. Do I not have any more wood? Well, that's just embarrassing. Um, so that's the king of the ladder type, but then this would be the opposite where we're trying to come down as fast as possible. The big concerns about that, if you're doing this and you're trying to do it as fast as possible, is that you can go too fast and you could die. Is there a crafting table up there? I have all the stuff and I have no crafting table because they're all down there. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's just go down there. So it's going to be, you go up there as fast as possible. You try to, you try to get down as fast as possible with the, the parkouring. If you go down too fast, obviously you're going to kill yourself. Um, if you don't go fast enough, you may lose because you're not the first person down. And so you kind of have to have that balance there. Now, if you die, you will go splat. But my thought is, is either here have a bed or up at the top, you have a bed so that you can be successful with that. The other thing, uh, I guess there's two parts to it. So the second part is, or three parts to it. The second part is really that I want to make it out of compressed ice so that you are slipping around and it just basically increases the, it increases the complexity of this entire map so that not only are you fighting against the other players but now you're trying to fight against the course itself and the last thing and i'm not sure i think this is going to be an optional process because i don't know um how people want to play it and so it might just be a game rules and whoever decides to do it they can decide if they want to include this or not but the third thing i was thinking of was to include snowballs and so you get like a stack of snowballs each time you go down and if for some reason you die, then you're going to have to get a new stack of snowballs. And those are a super cheap uh, item to get for the game. And they don't cause any damage, but they do bunt you. And so if you get bunced off, you're going to fall to your death. And so if someone gets ahead of you, 
that is one option to try to continue to be aggressive in that process. Now, that being said, if you're at, down below, it's going to be harder to throw up at people. And if you're farther behind, it's going to be easier to hit at those people. But then you're also wasting time with that. So you kind of have to choose your battle wisely. Um, so I'm going to include that at the top whenever you get up there. If I do a bet up there, or maybe it'll just be down here. But I'm going to include that, though I don't know if I'm going to necessarily make it an expectation of the rules. That might just be like, a, we'll just play maybe a couple times. That's something I do plan on doing, just so you guys know. I do want to do a let's play once the course is finished, where I actually play the game with some people. So I'm going to play at least with one if I can get more people on. I think the I think this kind of a style game, the more people you can get to play it, the better it's going to be. So if I can get two or three people to play this game in the next let's play that we do, I think it's going to be a great time. So the next episode is going to be putting in the ice blocks as well as designing the house and the platform up top, um, trying to determine where we want to put all that stuff. I'm really kind of risking my life here, aren't I? While well, I'm talking. Multitasking is not a good thing with this game. Um, so I'll put that design together. We'll have the house over there. We'll have the platform up top, um, just depending on how simplistic. I might just put beds in both. Um, there's no reason to be um, cheap on this process. We can have everywhere, anywhere we want to do. And then we will put in the ice blocks, the actual parkour. Um, I don't intend it to be extremely difficult in the sense of um, trying to have to think of your next step jumping down so it's not like going to be each drop is super far I'm going to leave that for the player to decide if they want to do that so it's not going to be super difficult to complete but when you start to add the race aspect into things do you want to race down or do you want to just get down there as, as quickly as possible or do you want to take your time and maybe the turtle wins the race kind of a thing so we'll see how the map goes um, it's going to take a lot of compressed ice i don't anticipate it just being one way down i anticipate there being at least three or four different options it's going to be kind of a scatter effect which will always be fun and it's not that the ice pieces are not going to be side by side so you're going to have to do a bit of a jump uh i almost killed myself um you are going to have to do a bit of jumping there, I might even, if depending on how far I want to get into the strategy, I may even have dead ends. Um, though that will be a little bit more complex, and that might ha some of those dead ends might have to just be done off camera. Um, and also, I realize that I'm making this game, so I don't want to do too many dead ends and realize that I'm going to have an advantage. So I want this to be a game that I can play as well. Um, so even if you watch the video of me creating it, if you were to create the game yourself, I don't want that to necessarily be an advantage. So we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be fine. Um, and then I'm going to finish this up, and I will catch you guys next time. Tell me what you think of the design. Tell me what you think of um, the creating the map. Is there anything I'm missing for a good parkour map? Obviously, I could do something like um, Cactus. Well, that's just inconvenient. <laughs> um, obviously I could do something like cactus or arrows um, arrows can get too costly too quickly um, cactus are just gonna be weird to put on this I really just kind of want to make it parkour I don't want it to be uh... <gasps> oh geez oh geez <coughs> that's how we're gonna end it guys thank you for watching I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.